It's an amazing to me how a lot of kids nowadays treat the moms. Like, everybody on this earth owes their moms a huge debt. Like, think about it. She didn't abort you. She carried you around for nine months, went through labor with you for hours. And if you were C-sectioned, she had to be sedated with the doctor saying, bring that ass here, boy. They had to bring you out. And after all that, they continue to put, put up with you even when you're out of control. If that's not love, then I don't know what is. Treat your mom good every second that you get with her because you never know if that second will be the last. January 13th, 2015 marked the 11th anniversary of my mom's death. On January 12th, 2014, 2004, a month after I turned 10 years old, my mom was rushed to the hospital with ovarian cancer. Last time I saw her, she was unconscious with tubes down her throat. I was, her ho I was holding her hand, the tears flowing nonstop from my face. I sat there just looking at her dead in the face. I tried talking in an effort to have one last conversation with her, even if she was unconscious. To this day, I still don't know whether or not she heard me. The next day, my dad told me my mom was okay and she wasn't in pain anymore. And hearing that, I came to the conclusion that she had recovered. So I asked, when would I be able to see her again? After he clarified, he, he said that she was with God now. So, as you might imagine, growing up was extremely difficult. If you don't know, age 10 is a very tender age when you need both parents in order to fill gaps, which otherwise would be empty. I definitely had gaps. Everything the mom teaches you, I never learned. Growing up, I never knew how to talk to girls. I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to cook until I went to college. Didn't have a lot of confidence, if any, and the list goes on and on. But what I want to convey through all this stuff I've gone through is I'm still here due to the grace of God. And if you're watching this video, I want to let you know, whether you believe him or not, God loves you and cares for you more than anyone on this earth can. So if your mom is still living, take a moment to hug her, tell her that you love her, and appreciate every single moment you have with her. And to all the mothers out there, single, married, or divorced, I don't want you to let you know, y'all the real MVP. This, I believe.